So that just makes me even more confident. You know, I used to be 90% confident that we'd seen the peak for the uh, fixed mortgage rates, then 99%. So let's go 99.9% confident that we saw the peak for New Zealand to fixed mortgage rates two and a half months ago. Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome to another one of my weekly videos with uh, NZHL. Well, that was interesting. Last uh, Wednesday, when the Reserve Bank reviewed its official cash rate, the almost universal expectation had been that they would take the rate up by just 0.25%, that they would look at the problems in the banking sector in the United States, which have caused downward revisions to US economic growth uh, uh, forecast, and that that would make them think, well, maybe the world outlook being worse means the economic outlook for New Zealand is a bit worse, so a bit less inflation than they were previously thinking, so maybe only a quarter of a percent rise in interest rates is needed. Well, instead, of course, they increased the interest rate uh, by half a percent. They did specifically make reference to the collapse of uh, uh, Silicon Valley Bank over in the United States, but pretty much noted the situation in New Zealand is completely different. With all the extra regulations, capital requirements here, they uh, don't anticipate really any greatly negative impact on our economy. But the interesting thing they did do is note that the weakness in the US economic outlook has led to falls in US wholesale interest rates which have fed through to those bank borrowing costs in New Zealand going down. And the Reserve Bank have become fearful that because the cost of banks in New Zealand has been going down, that there might be a round of interest rate cuts, mortgage interest rates actually going down, which is not what they want to see. So they pretty much explicitly stated that they're increasing the official cash rate 0.5%, but they don't expect it to lead to interest rates actually going up. They're doing it to stop interest rates going down. So that just makes me even more confident. You know, I used to be 90% confident that we'd seen the peak for the uh, fixed mortgage rates, then 99%. So let's go 99.9% .9 confident that we saw the peak for New Zealand to fixed mortgage rates two and a half months ago. But we're not going to see these rates decline at any particularly um, fast pace. And maybe the Reserve Bank just got a little bit concerned when we did see uh, two months back some of those extraordinary uh, special short-lived offers being made made by the banks in order to attract new business, looking to address that $170 billion worth of fixed rate mortgages um, coming up for renewal uh, in the coming year. Now, of course, that is going to be a source of some fairly strong downward pressure on the New Zealand economy as people's interest rates reset uh, to something higher. So that's something that they were you know, just making, uh, I guess, giving thought to in terms of don't need interest rates to go higher because there's a strong lag defect running through. But they did express concern that with the unemployment rate still uh, so low that the labour market is basically too tight. Uh, it's too strong uh, and there is a risk of wages growth remaining too high. The actual inflation rate is also at too high uh, a level. They also specifically noted something most of us have been pointing out ever since the floods, the first bout in late January, these flooding events add to inflation in New Zealand in the short term. And so the Reserve Bank is concerned that with inflation remaining higher for a little bit longer, maybe it feeds through into high wages growth when in an environment where you know, businesses are struggling to find the staff that they want. And the whole thing basically could lead to uh, uh, inflation taking a lot longer to come down than they would like. Now, what they did note explicitly at the end of their comment there was that they don't anticipate, they didn't indicate that they expect to be raising interest rates um, again. That's something they've been saying for about the past year and a half, that further monetary policy tightening is uh, likely to be required. Now they've basically said they've got a view on how rapidly the economy is going to uh, slow down and they're going to be assessing the data as they come out over the next few months, essentially to see if their expectations are being met. So for myself as an economist and all the other economists, etc., we're going to be paying fairly close attentions to attention to indicators of is the labour market leading uh, uh, easing up at all? Are inflation expectations coming down? Is consumer spending being um, well crunched? So we're at the start of that process now. It could easily mean we've still got some volatility left in interest rates. But like I say, I'm 99.9% .9 confident we have seen the peak in those fixed mortgage rates. But don't get over optimistic thinking they're going to be falling away very uh, quickly. I do suspect there 
Reserve Bank might have got on the telephone to the uh, main banks there and said it's not actually very helpful if you're offering these discounted uh, interest rates at the moment. Maybe you want to pull your heads back in in that regard. So the optimism I did have about banks coming forward with a few extra specials um, has actually gone down the gurgler uh, for the moment. So like I say, interest rates probably peaked, but don't get optimistic about them coming down at a particularly fast pace for this calendar year, 2023. All the best out there.